And how did you learn English? Your English sounds very good. That's right. <laughs> yeah, because um, how did it happen? when my mother became pregnant, they both that that is the reason why. Mm, um, actually, my I only have two siblings. Both of my sisters they do live in the United States still. Hi, what is your name? My name is Anand Raj. Nice to meet you. What is your name? Thank you. Nice to meet you too. My name is Rosalinda, and I'm from America, but live in Mexico. Okay, Mexico. Yeah. How are you today? Yes, I'm doing good. Yeah, so far the day has been good. Okay, and uh, it's evening right now. It is around seven thirty. So yeah, the work has been finished now. So almost you know it is relaxing time for me. Yeah. Nice. You are originally from America, right? Yes, I come. I was born in Texas. I'm originally from Texas, but I've lived in Mexico almost my entire life. <laughs> Okay, so you spent your childhood in Mexico? No, I was raised and I grew up in the United States, but around when I was about eight years old, I moved to Mexico, and I've been here ever since. Have you always lived there in your country? Yes, I have mm -hmm. lived here. Okay. And how did you learn English? Your English sounds very good. Just uh, by uh, watching things, you know, like uh, watching videos online, and uh, I have been a big fan of cricket match, so I have been, you know, listening cricket commentary, and that's how I picked up this language. Yeah. So you didn't take an English course? No, I didn't. Like mm -hmm. I, I took coaching here. Uh, for a while, but uh, it was not for you know speaking practice. It was just learning grammar and everything. So I learned grammar, uh, but I as uh, as soon as I started speaking English, I found one thing is very clear that grammar doesn't help you to speak English, right? So you have to speak English. Uh, like it is practical thing. Okay, it, it doesn't. You cannot uh, recall grammar when you are speaking. Otherwise, you know your speech. Like you cannot speak, you would be thinking about grammar, and that's that's how I felt. That's how I felt at the beginning. Like I was thinking about grammar. I tried to. I I was trying to speak in English, but I couldn't. But right now, I don't think about grammar too much. Right, just I speak whatever comes in my mind. Yeah. Okay, I see. Now, do you use English like in your daily life or not really? Uh, I mean, yes. In teaching, I use my English because. When I okay. teach my students, their syllabus is in English, but we do not uh, speak, mm -hmm. right? Like I have to make them understand everything in English. Uh, I have to make them write everything in English, but we make them understand in our m native language, so they can understand it better. Yeah. yeah so, mm -hmm. uh, like as far as uh, speaking is concerned, I'm not in practice with my students or in my daily life, right? But yes. For writing purpose, yes, every day I'm writing in English. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, for you not to take an English course, I think your English sounds very good, very fluent, um, very understandable as well. And I think also, you know, when someone likes learning a language, it's easier for them to learn it, and I feel like they their improvement is much advanced than a student who doesn't like learning a language. So in your yeah. case, if you like English, if you enjoy the language, you try harder, you make more of an effort to perfection the language. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Well, yes, yeah. So uh, which language do you speak in Mexico? Like uh, you speak English or have you learned any other languages, native language? Yeah, well, I also speak Spanish. Um, I've spoken Spanish. both languages. Growing up, I was, my first language was English, of course, but my parents, they did not speak English. They would only speak Spanish. They only speak Spanish, actually. So growing up, I was speaking both languages at the same time, English and Spanish. But once I moved to Mexico, 
I realized I didn't speak much Spanish <laughs> because the Spanish they teach you in the United States is very different. It's very Americanized, I guess. Like it's it's not the correct way to learn Spanish or to speak it. So once I moved to Mexico, my Spanish improved and now I would say that I'm very fluent on both. Well, Spanish and well, English is my first language, so I'm very fluent in Spanish as well. Yeah, you were asking something, please go on. I was going to say, do you only speak those languages, your mother tongue and English? No, apart from my mother tongue and English, I speak one more language. Okay, so one three. More language. Okay, so, yeah, three, and one regional language. So if I include all these languages, then four. Yeah, almost four languages. More. Okay, yeah. but mm, because, with... because sometimes we do not consider a regional language a language, but it is a language because we speak, and it is quite different from my mother tongue and the one other language that I speak. Yeah. So, which one do you use most? Uh, most Hindi. Okay, it is kind of uh, very a popular language in India. Okay, so yeah. most of the people in India know how to speak Hindi. So we speak Hindi most of the time. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in in Mexico, there are a few people who speak English, but most is Spanish. I would say all of it. If you travel to places like that are very touristic in Mexico, you will find a lot of people speaking English. But at least where I live, it's Spanish, pretty much all Spanish. So actually, I would say that I use Spanish mostly in my daily life because we only speak Spanish in Mexico. It doesn't affect your English, right? You always speak Spanish, but it doesn't speak, affect your English. Like you are as fluent in English as you were before. Yeah, I can understand because it is your first language. So when you were a child, you were exposed to this language. Yeah. And I mean, of course, like, I still, even though I use a Spanish language, like, for example, going to the supermarket, everything is in Spanish. Like my hobbies, for example, watching movies or other things, I do all of that in English. Because to me, I enjoy it more listening to it in English than Spanish. And um, if I find to, if I have friends or relatives who speak English and Spanish, I mostly speak English anyway. So <clears throat> really, I try to speak English as much as I can when I know someone speaks English. Because when I go to the supermarket, at least here in Mexico, you only speak Spanish. OK. So you told me about your parents. They are from Mexico, or just they they, they are from different part of the world. They know Spanish. OK, so they speak Spanish. Yeah, they're originally from Mexico, and they only speak Spanish. That's their only language. So after all, your parents speak Spanish, but you got exposed to English. That's right. <laughs> yeah, because oh. How um, did it happen? when my mother became pregnant, they both moved to the United States. So mm -hmm. my sisters and I, we were born, my siblings and I, we were born in the United States. So we lived there, you know, we grew up there and we lit our childhood was in the United States. So that is why we were exposed to the language and also to the American culture, because my parents actually they have lived most of their life in the United States. Yeah. So okay. that that is the reason why i um, actually my I only have two siblings both of my sisters they do live in the United States still but I'm the only one who lives in Mexico what brought you to Mexico actually you know as I said my parents they lived in the United States but unfortunately they were deported they had to move back to Mexico because they didn't have their visa so because i was still very young i'm the youngest out of my siblings i was eight years old of course i could not stay in the united states so when my parents moved to mexico i came with them i also moved to mexico and they had to be here for 10 years um, to be able to get their visa 
So my actually my mother, she just moved to the back to the United States last year. So now she's able to come and go back and forth from the United States. But in my case, I got married and now I'm in Mexico. <laughs> now I'm here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, you got married in Mexico, right? Yes, because a Mexican person, they do have like a permit to travel to the United States, but they cannot live there longer than six months and they cannot work there they they're not allowed to so we have to make a process for for my husband to move legally to the united states but of course we we do go though like he he's allowed to come and go back and forth from the united states but just not work there and not live there more than six months so now that's why here uh, we are in mexico and i love mexico i really like mexico i think that's what one needed yeah, if you well, love Mexico, then they no need to move any other countries. Yeah, I I, I really like Mexico. Um, at the beginning, it was really hard to adapt to Mexico. It was very very difficult. But now I have lived here for fourteen years, and now I could probably say that I like Mexico more than the United States. <laughs> oh, yeah, fourteen mm -hmm. years is a long time. Yeah, the culture is very different and I do I do go to the United States like I have my entire family lives over there. My my siblings, my grandparents, everyone is in the United States. I'm the only one here in Mexico. So I do I do travel often. I do go to the United States to my hometown actually. But the culture is very different and the way of living is very very different from Mexico it's very rapid i feel like you're just so busy you 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 need to work very hard to be able to sustain yourself and i feel like you don't enjoy life as much and in mexico you do it's very different wow that's great that's what i think about india sometimes you know india is still not that rapid you know everybody is just running behind their goals in united states and that's yeah. not here in india right now yeah Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't enjoy your life, just you are running, running after one and one thing or the other, you know, just rat race life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 